Jalen, can you take us through the issue with Duncan Robinson? It seemed like he was kind of holding on to your arm after he fouled you and you just kind of threw him off. Can you, what happened and did you, are you okay with with, with what went down and the, the flagrant? Yeah, I'm okay with it. I think uh, it was no issue for me. I think he knew exactly what he was trying to do, trying to get tangled up, um, et cetera, because he didn't want to play defense. And, you know, they called the foul, but he was still trying to hang on. So I was trying to get my arm free. Is, Joe said he liked the friction. And is there a point where you've got to, when guys are being a little bit overly physical with you, you've got to say, like, I can't, I'm not taking this anymore. Like, I'm just, I'm going to have to enforce, enforce it myself. Yeah, especially, you know, Miami's known for, you know, being physical. Miami's known for getting away for, with a lot of that stuff, kind of mucking up the game. And, you know, at the end of the day, you got to protect and own your space. I feel like Duncan Robinson knew what he was doing there, um, trying to get tangled up and trying to draw whatever, whatever. I don't know what he was trying to do, but I bet you he won't do it again. In the fourth quarter, you guys were really going after Robinson. He was like fighting to deny position, all that kind of stuff. Uh, usually against teams, you can kind of find the cross match you want and just kind of go at it in crunch time. But Miami made you guys work for it. So how did you guys work through that and try to find the best outcome? Who, who's your for? Virginia. Uh, uh, just think, just playing the, the right way, just reading the game. I think we've been playing a lot of intentional basketball, which I think is going to pay off, I think. You know, in the regular season is where you build habits. And I think we've been trying to be the smarter team night in and night out. Um, tonight, you know, they had some players that defensively um, we could take advantage of. And I feel like we, majority of the game, we tried to get to those positions in those spots. Um, KP got his position in, uh, early and he was able to take advantage of those matchups and, and that stuff that we look to do. Jalen, Joe said to us he, he like particularly actually liked when you and Duncan were having words with each other at the free throw line after, you just like seeing that fire. What was that interaction kind of about? I don't think it was anything special. You know what I mean? I, I don't really have a comment on it. I think we just, you know, two <laughs> teams playing hard, trying to figure out how to win. I think he was trying to get his team motivated right there. And, you know, I was ready to move on to the next play. What, what happened with your with your back when you went out, and what was kind of the process of getting back in there, and how are you feeling now? Uh, I want to answer the last question a little bit. To be honest, like when they got into it again, I kind of liked it. Like it got the whole crowd into it. It was like it was a good atmosphere. So I think um, that was good. And my back is fine. I got a little bit like bump from Bam on a rebound. Just kind of like nothing serious. Yeah, I just went went to the back like. Made sure it was good, warmed up again, and, and all good. What did that altercation, Kristaps, do for the group and yeah. all of you, showing the the poise, but also a fire from yeah. that point on? No, I love it. I love it. I think we have to um, take those like moments, those emotional moments, in a good way. Like make us like fired up, but controlled. You know, we have to stay controlled, and because that's their game. They need us to react to something, or they need us. So we, we, as JB said, we own our space, but we don't have to react back. They have to do that to mix up the game, to make something happen. And I think we just have to be smart in those situations, but, but show that we're right there. Chris, You're I, new to this rivalry. What is it like to be a part of, and how important is it for you guys to experience this now, looking at the playoffs? Yeah, I knew, like, we all knew going into this game, um, that's you know, we're going up against Coach Spolstra and Miami Heat. They're gonna remember the last game what happened, and they're gonna come out you know with a game plan, and and they want to beat us as much as we want to beat them. And and it was gonna be a it was gonna be a fight, especially a big game on national TV, all this. And it was a it was a war, and it was a, it was fun, and uh, most importantly that we came out with a win and, and proved who we are. Christoph, how do you feel like you've been able to impact this matchup, the amount of zone they throw at you, just the pockets you're able to find, the openings you're able to find against their defense? Yeah, to be honest, I'm just playing my game. I think uh, the more time I'm spending with these guys on the court, they, we, we're all just getting real comfortable with each other. We knowing They're knowing my spots. I'm, I'm finding them whenever there is some extra help coming or, or double teams or whatever. And we try to make the game easy for each other. We play selflessly, and, and when we do that, 
it's it's a headache for the other team. Kristaps, you got hit in a tough spot uh, late second quarter, yeah. and then you got called for the foul. Like, yeah. how did you bounce back? What was that feel? I mean, did you think about leaving the game? Like, what was what was going through your mind other than pain? No, uh, to be honest, I wanted to challenge it, you know, and see if we could get something. But um, I guess the thought was that you know I, I kind of did bump him first a little bit, so the foul would have stayed. Maybe we could have gotten something, you know, unsportsmanlike or something like this. But to be honest, you know, this, this kind of plays happen, and they're going to happen probably even much more in the playoffs. You know, all kinds of stuff is going to go down. So um, I don't know if it was on purpose, but uh, definitely got hit in, the, in, in, in there and. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, we, we keep playing. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.